I'm back on the second channel. I know I haven't uploaded in like 20 days, bro. I'm so sorry, but we're back on the grind, man. We're going to be coming out with new videos, new games, and, you know, hopefully we play with uh, some new people. But, yeah, man, today we're going to be playing Firewatch. It's a nice little chill game. Uh, it's like a five-hour of gameplay, so I think it'll be fun. And, yeah, man, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And even if you're not new, click that bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And let's just get right to it. Boulder, Colorado. Oh, I think I've been there, actually. I went to Colorado last year, guys. Went on a nice little road trip. You see Ju- No, not Julia. That's my ex. Oh, shit. I hope my girl's not watching the stream. No, not Julia. Oh, wait, I gotta click it. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing, well-dressed, professors, and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. Bro, just hit her straight up with the you're pretty, huh, chat? Let's just hit her right out of it. She says coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You replied confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags you down a waiter one week later. You are Julia's boy. What? Alright. Looks like uh, we're back with Julia, chat. Just like that. Just like that, we're back with Julia. You know, man, life, life is crazy, bro. You just meet an ex at the bar and you call her pretty and now she's uh, your girl again. This is my truck right here, boy. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Aw, that's so nice. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with the view of the mountains. You two drink a beers out on the deck. You drink a beers just about anywhere. Nice. We're both alcoholics. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia's in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking his this dog. It's badass. Man, we're getting man, we're getting the German Shepherd. You already know. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julie loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child. Alright, let's go. W Dog. You talk out on the deck, it's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. Oh, shit, what do you think about kids, she asks. Oh, she hitting us with the question? Kids are not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some a couple little idiots. That would be pretty good. Bro, it's only been a year. Let's just take it easy. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Speak for yourself? Hold on a second. Don't worry, you a shirt. You tell her she has the body of an under- <laughs> oh, I thought she undergrad? My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. One day, okay? Okay, one day, she says. Six months later, you get engaged, lying in bed on a Sunday morning. Wait, bro, so how long was I dating her beforehand? Because I, I feel like it's like we just reunited and shit. Thora for the uh, trailhead. Uh, where are we? All right. I don't know how to read the map. Let's just uh, keep going. I guess can I sprint? How do I sprint? Oh R is to sprint. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time You fight when she gets it between the sheets you get mad, you ignore her. I'm gonna get mad as fuck. What the fuck have you been doing out? I didn't tell you you could go to the fucking club. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Why did I tell that bitch about being a little Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Okay, I'm a little Victoria's Secret model. Julia was right. You are very pretty. Oh my god. Okay, alright, we're running. R is to run. What a weird button. 
All right, we're going to two forks. Damn, boy, that sun hitting me right. I need to take a selfie. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh, shit. I pull out the strap. Mayhem runs away. Bro. Oh, my. May me move. Fuck. D d dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You beat his... I beat his ass, boy. You uh, Your arm... Oh, he has a knife. I forgot. Oh, shit. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. Huh? Oh, okay. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then, you walk by the river. All right, nice. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work? No. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair, she wants to move. You absolutely do not agree if she commutes back and forth. Bro, what? Why don't I just move with her, bro? Let's just do the second one. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it for you Won't if you won't move. You tell her she... You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Uh, Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't, she didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was find, found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Let's talk to someone about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. Wait, we're old as f Nah, Loki, I didn't know how old we were. You both decide to keep it a secret for now? Oh my god, bro. What the? What the? Yo, is this me? Oh, okay, that's just wild, bro. That. Mayhem is getting older. He's got a silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. Bro, can we have kids now or what's going on? Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over. For no particular reason, it has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She peels you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into the pan believing her dad is at the door. Bro, this is sad, bro. What the hell? This shit just took a, a turn. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friend comes by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Bro. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. Oh, hell no. Bro, what the f- Oh, no, bro. This is bad, bro. Bro, this is bad, Chad. This is not good. Guys, what do we do? Bro, we gotta take care of her. Bro, I don't... Bro, dementia is so bad. Oh, no. Oh, my God, no. Not Julia, bro. And I'm out here in nature right now and shit. It's an elk. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter. Drinking then too. Alright, so what, we're alcoholics now? You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. Bro, what the hell? Why am I going? You trust that she sleeps like a rock? Alright, bro. Well, if I'm going out, I guess I'll f 
unlock her in the bedroom. <laughs> Make sure she don't go nowhere. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in, and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. Okay, so like it's like I'm just chilling. One night, you are stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point ten and are taken to jail for the night. You could... You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Wait, did I lock her? Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia's coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer's coming. You see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Bro, that's so sad. What the hell? Bro, that's actually crazy, bro. Enter the lookout tower. Bro, this game is sad as f this is a cool job though after like all that happened i guess damn all right r is to run i keep forgetting all right let's open this up turn on the power all right this is my new home guys this is my new Hello, home oh look like this is my new girlfriend now hold left shift to activate radio release left shift to talk to delilah um hello whoever this is it's henry right yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. Hey there, Delilah. So what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? Damn, what's she wrong knows. You? Why that's am I- great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. Okay, why is this guy she such an asshole? It, what's wrong with me? Fine, then can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. You've killed three ex-husbands? You're rebelling against mom? Okay, let's do the I killed three ex-husbands. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until- Wait, the guys down oh, about her? her? Okay. Oh, very good. Bravo, Henry. I didn't know I was trying to guess what she okay, did. I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. But nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. They got dumped? Is that it? Close? Good night. Pretty close, <laughs> Good actually. Night. Welcome to the job. Sorry, guess I slept in. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. God damn! Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But oh, I guess up. I did take a fat hike. With the job. And I'm probably fat as shit. Yeah, look at me. I look like shit. Alright, let's take a look at the map. Oh, fuck me. Good God. Language, lady. Out yeah, language. Window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? West window. Where's my compass? Are those fucking fireworks? West. Where? I see Whoa. them. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and oh, stop them. Oh shit, Fire where's the gun? The I'm gonna shoot room. those little shits. That's really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Oh, we're the fucking ranger. Like, kick the shit out of them? Yes, I'm gonna kick the shit out of them. Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Yes. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Yeah, Just exactly. Make sure they We're in the woods. I can kill them if shit. I want to. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Oh, I got a lot of built-up anger. I need to take it out on some little right. shits. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. Fireworks are west, so we just keep heading west. Look how smart I am, Chad. I, if I was a fire ranger, I could be one, bro. Let's go hop on over this. I'm low key moving pretty fast for how big I am. I'm a pretty big guy. I hear them. We're getting close. Oh, here it is. This is it. One, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four. Perfect. Thank you for making it easy. Okay, we got rope. We're going to hang him by a tree. Granola? I just had a granola bar. This is fire. All right, let's go take care of him, chat. Let's go get those little shits. We're going to hang him by a tree and shoot him with the firework. This is such a nice game, bro. It feels so peaceful. Such a peaceful game. Oh, I hear them. Get ready. Do I have a flare gun? I could low-key, like, tie them up by the tree. And shoot the flare gun down at the tree and just watch them burn. Attach the rope. 
Holy shit, this is crazy. What the hell? Yeah, never mind. I would not do this shit. Oh, wait, it's not that bad, is it? Watch me just fall and break my neck, and then I wake up in the middle of the night and there's like wolves around me. No, no, no. Oh! Wait. It's almost like I just guessed what happened. What are the chances? Hey, Julia, thanks for that rope. It just f***ing snapped on me. You should have told me there was a weight limit. I weighed like 300 f***ing pounds. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No. No, I, I got like too it. much fat. Careful for Christ's sake. My back, all the back fat I got just f***ing broke the fall. But thank you. Where's the goddamn compass? This way. West. We keep heading west. Hey, I'm not sure where to look. Let's just... I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our, uh... It's right there, shoot. dumbass. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. It's right here. Oh, look at there. Their shit is here. They yeah, left a bottle, a bottle of whiskey. Of whiskey. Decent stuff. Oh, Drunk what kind pyromaniacs. of... What kind of stuff is it? Ferreter Irish. Oh, this is my favorite. Oh, shit. Ferreter Irish. I'm finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. I would mm, like to retract good. my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feet away. Oh, I can beat their ass now. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. Yep, that is what, true. You know, like a cold musquelite on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Save for later. Oh, fucking litter bugs, though. That's for sure. Litter bugs. Pick them up. Confiscate. Beer can. Clean it up. Oh, we're cleaning it up. Nice. Oh, look at me. I'm doing my job right now. Stomp it out. Yup. Alright. I'm looking going crazy right now. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Harassment? I don't give a shit. They've been throwing fireworks up in the air. I want to see what's in it. Excuse me, uh... I'm taking their shit. Two pairs of clothes. Oh, they're gonna be naked at the lake. I just called. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. I hear music, bro. They're gonna be in the lake oh, naked. naked. Yep. Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then. Head oh back. shit! I found a bra. We're going. Oh. Uh, there are. Uh, we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh shit, There's boy! A... We gotta get into some action. Hey, there are two naked women. Uh, nothing. Forget it. Yeah, nothing's happening. Okay, Don't worry. Something. Hey there, ladies. What is that guy doing over there? Hey there, ladies. Hey, Don't worry hey, about me. Are you I'm just making sure everything's all right here. Quit the fireworks. Please cool it with the fireworks. I don't want to scare them. You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, all right? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler buffet. Sorry. Why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? My girlfriend Maybe left me. All the way out here to get away from guys like you. Uh, you don't know a damn thing about me. Why are you they so mean to me? So what? Mean? What are you gonna do about it? Oh my god, is that what you are? Yeah. Can we just get out of here? Man, shut up. Man, what the? Are you serious? I feel like shit now, bro. They just cook my ass. I'm not gonna lie. I'm taking this with me. I hope they drown. I hope they drown. Oh wow. Um. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I took their stereo. Yep. Okay. Well, uh, I guess we're all leaving then. Yeah. Think so. Yeah, we're leaving with their stereo, and I'm taking these back with me. Still screwing all over down here. Well, it is a particularly warm evening. Let's try one more. All right, we're gonna take them. All right. Put them in the. <laughs> Let's take them <laughs> with us. <laughs> God damn it! How do I crouch? <sighs> Ugh, that smells good. We're done with that. We're taking the boombox. God damn it! How do I take this shit? Where's their backpacks? Let me see what's in there. So there's no uh, noise ordinances or rules out here. 
Uh, no. But that music I hear makes a good case for him. Well, I want to bring it to the damn... To my spot with me. Alright, I'm cleaning up this place. God damn bitch. Always leaving a mess and shit, not cleaning up after themselves. Alright, I actually don't like the boombox no more. It's loud as shit. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Hey, I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but yeah, how do I get back? back? I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. North towards the canyon? This way. Alright, we're going. We must be going the right way, chat. By chat, I mean Kojo. We're going north. What? A raccoon! Um, there's a critter out here. I'm gonna raccoon. get rabies, bro. That motherfucker bites. I can't understand you. Because I'm whispering. Because you're whispering. Yeah, I'm whispering. Oh, let's pears, get it. Pears, pears. Yes. You dumbass! You just scaled the raccoon. What the hell? I'm doing a crossword and I figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Pears, pears, pears. The clue was couples peeling fruit. <laughs> yeah, this bitch is a nerd. No, I'm f***ing lost. You just keep going this way. Uh, okay, so from these rocks, where do I go again? Go back towards the lake, turn north, and east through the canyon. There should be a trail at the far east side of it. Wait, go back to the lake? Oh my god, I don't want it to get dark, bro. Goddamn panties and shit all over the place. And then east towards the canyon. Trail sign? Uh, hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should... Let's go! Way. Okay. You're not climbing back up that slide. Let's go. Keep it moving, <laughs> big boy. Hopefully by the end of this job, I have like a six-pack and my calves are showing it. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. What's your confession? What did you do? What is it? Um... I was I was drunk last night when I woke oh, you to the job. Oh no. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know. I just I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. I'm out here cuz I'm trying to, you know, get away from uh life and shit. Life is hard. It's fine. I'll I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to uh to a minimum. Anyway, oh, no. let me know when you get back to your lookout. Oh no, bro, it's getting... It's gonna start raining. I'm gonna get wet. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home. Oh and no. Try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine? <laughs> bro. Uh, I got hit by lightning when I was nine. Bro, this old, guy's so about to get hit by safe. lightning. It's not gonna strike twice and all that. No, well, that's definitely what lightning does. Roy Sullivan, who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the Seven that. times? Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Oh, Suicide. No. Would you believe? Horn? What the hell do I do with the horn? Flashlight? Yeah, we're using... We're taking the flashlight. It's about to get dark, bro. Ah. There's a cave. What's in this cave down here? Probably a bear. In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man. You can go where you want. I'm a grown-ass man. I got a big-ass dick. I'm going in the cave. Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. What Obviously, does it say? Be very careful. For access key available at Ranger Station, Du Bois, Wyoming. Play with no! the... It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Let's get back uh, up here. Another lookout? They go in, they never come out. Ah, <laughs> uh, so this is another one of your jokes. Yeah. Wait, should yes. I have gone yep. this way? Wait, which where am I going now, bro? I just Um There's some guy out here. Hey, what's some going on? Guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is what he the doing hell? I don't think so. Henry, there's there's something I something someone should have told you about this area. What is oh it? my god, great, bro. It's what? Outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. I guess what this is like a hiking trail anyway, right? Oh wait, we can go up here. 
All right, let's go find him out. Let's go find out who that is, man. Let's go see. Jump! Oh. What's my name? Henry? This guy's got hops for being a fat little piece of shit. This is where he was at right here. Let's keep going up. Bro, I gotta get to the tower. I don't know what I'm doing right now, but... This guy's about to, like, push me down the whole cliff. Watch. Where am I going? I should have just gone back to the tower, bro. What the hell am I doing this side quest for? Bro, Henry's Loki climbing this shit right now. For a 300-pound guy, he's doing pretty good. All right, where you at? Come out, come out wherever you are. Okay, let's just keep going, bro. This, there's no way this guy's climbing up all this shit, right? There's no way this guy's just climbing up all these rocks and shit. Oh, my God, bro. I feel bad for Henry right now. I would be tired climbing this shit. Trail close sign? What does it say? I made it. Get Okay, well, at least I fell forward and not backwards. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Oh, this is my tower. Took care of the black path. This is where I take a shit. So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, I am a man, that is true. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Wow, thanks for telling me. Let's take this baseball up to the thing. I get bored easily. All right, well, we're going back up to the tower. I got a baseball. I didn't get the radio because... Typewriter? Someone just threw my typewriter out the house. Oh, shit. I'm scared. Someone threw my typewriter. on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. I should get inside. What do you mean I should get inside? The guy's probably in here sleeping in my shit. Oh. Someone broke in. They what? They just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Oh, Holy now shit. I'm pissed uh, off. I'll now the, the forest service know what happened. It's definitely the fucking women that I was spying on. How do I close the door? Can I close the door? My fucking sheets are gone. They stole your sheets. Oh That's my. Just mean. Now yeah, I'm not going to be sucks. able to sleep, bro. Okay, I put in a call. Thanks. What can they what do? What can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the forest service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii 50. Do you have any idea who would have done this? The women. Maybe no, it's the guy. It's Maybe the that guy. guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Because he's well, a I'll random man, an homeless for a man person, bro. On his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts. Great. Nice. Uh, okay. In the morning, I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. Awesome. Not much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. Sounds sounds good. I need you to feel safe out here. Yeah, I do. I don't. Yeah, just tell me where I can Let's find a the gun. Forest Service weapons cache, and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Bro, okay. Grenades. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, bro, I need some type of weapon. Oh, that's it for day one. All right, well, I'll see you guys on the next episode. I'm going to bed.